Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celine. if you're new here. I'm a nursing student and I post nursing and lifestyle related videos. Today's video is gonna be super fun. I thought it would be cool to do a what's in my clinical bag video. I am officially done with my last clinical day, so I haven't touched my bag and I thought it would be really fun to show you guys what's in there. Um, with that being said, let's get into this video. All right, so this is the backpack that I use for clinical. This is the Vera Bradley campus backpack and I do really love it. Um, at first I was trying to decide if I wanted a purse, if I wanted a backpack, but I figured it would be more realistic and ergonomical to carry a backpack because you can go out with you and it can be heavy and that's that. So like I said, this is the campus backpack and I will link it down below if anyone is interested and I really like it. Um, it has two really big, really big pockets on the side and they do fit hydro flasks if that's what you carry. They do fit other, like those slim uh, water bottles that you can get at Target or Walmart. Um, they carry a pretty good size in there. So those are definitely handy. Then it has pockets in the front and then it has this hidden pocket on the side that would typically be used for a laptop sleeve. Um, I don't bring my laptop. I'm not one of those people who brings laptops or iPads to clinical. Um, so yeah, let's get into the meat and potatoes. All right, hopefully this angle works. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, starting from the front to back, what I carry in here. So I'm gonna start with this little pocket first. Let's see what's in there. Okay, so this is a notepad that um, I don't really use anymore. Um, my first semester, I got a pack of these and I would use these to take notes on different stuff that I learned throughout the day or anything, any sort of information that I had to quickly like write down that I was scared I'd forget, such as vitals, a lab result for a patient, something like that. I don't really use this anymore, to be honest, but um, it's there. I also have an alcohol pad and... Some more alcohol pads now I'm gonna go open the second pocket all right there's a lot of stuff that I do keep in here so number one it's about to fall out I keep hand lotion um, if you work in the hospital you know that your hands get dry very easily because you're constantly sanitizing and washing them that being said um, I just have this regular suave 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 however you pronounce it um, this lotion okay Next, I have my own little thing of hand sanitizer. These are some goggles that I wear to protect my eyes. Um, they gave us the option, we can either wear these or the face shield. So naturally, we all chose these goggles because the face shields suck. I used to have two. I ordered these from Amazon. It was a pack of two and they were really cheap, like I think 15 or $20. The other one broke, so this is the one that I have. I might buy another one soon just in case this breaks because it is quite flimsy. Um, I have saline flushes. Sometimes I put them in my uniform pocket throughout the shift and I forget to take them out by the time we finish and go to post-conference, so they're in my bag. Um, I have these little um, sticky note flag things. I like to put these in, like if I bring a textbook or if I bring my drug guide and um, my patient is on something that I don't know, I'll put a tab on that page so I can make a med card for it and learn it that way some highlighters and some pens. I feel like that's self-explanatory. Another pen, a Sharpie. Um, I'm still looking for those small ones that you can clip onto your badge reel. So um, I think that'll be easier than having this big Sharpie. I have, oh, speaking of gauze, gauze. My little watch. I got a cheap little watch from Target um, because I don't uh, like to wear my Apple Watch uh, just in case like I don't want to get any gross fluids on it and if I'm doing like a full head to toe assessment head to toe assessment um, if I'm taking like an apical rate it's easier to look at this than having my watch go to sleep each time uh, like for a full minute I need to watch so it doesn't go to sleep whatever it's just easier to use some green caps for IV tubing. 
This is the little sleeve that the goggles are supposed to be in. An N95 mask that I have. Um, I went to, down to the endoscopy uh, center one day and we have to wear these because risk of aerosolization. What else? The sleeve for the second goggles that broke. A little badge clip and then another alcohol swab and then this pen i do honestly really love using it i'm sure you will see this in a lot of other like nursing or medical related bag videos but you can use the different colors to color code any notes that you're taking for instance like abnormal values will be like red uh, green will be like any tasks for the day um stuff like that All right, so this fits a lot in here. Uh, usually I do have some more books, um, but because it was my last clinical day, I was able to take some stuff out because it was a bit more of a relaxed day. Um, so I have my scrub jacket in here that does not do a good job of keeping me warm. <laughs> so I'll just throw that there. I have, okay, let's get into our books. My. Uh, nursing pocket guide whenever we fill out some of our assignments and we need to reference nursing diagnoses i have this on hand everyone should have these so this is the jarvis physical exam health assessment pocket manual it's a condensed version of our health assessment textbook but i like to keep this on hand in case i need to reference anything while i'm doing an assessment and you find something that you don't really remember or you're not sure about i, uh, I i've gone back and used this a bunch of times so it's been handy to have with me Right. This is a little journal that I use. Uh, it's actually um, I use to take my notes in, like if I learn something new throughout the day. Um, I really like having it um, because it's good to write down things that you learn as you go because that way stuff just clicks better. I have, this is my binder um, with all my different like clinical assignments and paperwork that we have to do. So this is a cheap stethoscope that actually came with my blood pressure cuff that I have. Um, I always keep this in here just to have an extra. This is always in here, uh, whether I forget or someone else forgets their stethoscope, we have an extra. Okay, so this is my little um, stethoscope case. And inside here, we have a lot of stuff that's about to fall out. Okay, so we have my Littman Classic 3M stethoscope. We have, uh, I have two of these pen lights. I have some more alcohol swabs and extra red caps for IVs in here. I have an IV catheter in here and I have my trauma shears in here. So yeah, this is the stethoscope case. Like I said, if I, find the, if I can find the link for it, I'll link it down below. It's not my favorite just because um, the stethoscope you never really know which way it's oriented when you open it it can fall out um it's not my favorite but it does the job so i don't really need to get a second one right now okay this is just a little pouch with like um ibuprofen some eye drops some feminine products i have my lip balm in here tiger balm anything that i need to just like freshen up throughout the day got some might all i mean self-explanatory every girl has one of these little pouches so that's that so that is actually it for my main pocket now i'll go to the side really quick so i can show you what's in here so in here actually it's the perfect little spot to put my actual face shield it's nice and padded so it's protected and um so yeah that's where this goes if ever i need it um i also have my clipboard in here um this was something new that i bought for this semester so far i absolutely adore it I, other than the fact that it's a cute color it folds you can put it in your scrub pocket and it has these little references on the side i feel like a lot of people do have these so it's pretty self-explanatory and um uh, yeah i really like having it so this little side pocket is a great spot for that there's also in this backpack, I might as well show you, there's this little side pocket um, that I don't have anything in. Um, maybe one day I'll figure out what to put in there. It would be good for like a wallet, maybe your car keys, so it's more safe than being exposed in here. Obviously my wallet and car keys, they're in my purse, so I took them out. 
I also didn't show you guys my badge clip because I always keep that in my ID bag, badge. Um, I always keep those two things in my car at all times. As soon as I get to the hospital, I put it on. As soon as I leave, I take it off and put it in the center console. Reason for that is because I don't want to forget it. So if I walk in one day, realize I don't have it on, I know that it's in my car. I can go quickly and get it from the parking garage. Um, so yeah, I always just have that in there. Okay guys, so that's it for everything that I have in my clinical bag. Hopefully you guys got some cool ideas from it or at least enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like, comment, uh, and subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated as always. Uh, with that being said, thanks guys. Bye.